Hey guys and welcome back to another brand new Jujutsu Kaisen video and yes I am finally back making another Jujutsu Kaisen anime review video but this time it's going to be the last one um, for me as an anime only watcher because right after this video right after this particular episode I am finally going to be able to pass the chapter that they are adapting in this particular latest episode which is episode 10 of Jujutsu Kaisen season 2 and yes you guys might have the Notice the fact that there's a lot of echoes right here yet yeah, pretty much because I just moved to a new house and I just got my own room and yes this room is very much empty there's nothing here so yeah it's very much echo-ish it's like I'm in a cave or something but I'll try my best to actually get something like some proof and fill this room with whatever thing I can put in so it can actually be improved in the next few videos so for now please bear with me I'm very sorry for that but yeah let's just talk about the director and storyboarder of the episode first um Yosuke Takada an incredible episode by him. I'm pretty sure you guys are familiar with this name because this is also the person that actually directed the episode 2 of Jujutsu Kaisen Season 2, which is the Hidden Inventory arc part 2 if I'm not wrong. And yes, in that particular episode, everyone was saying that that particular episode was a low priority episode, it's nothing really much crazy happening here and there. In terms of the direction and storyboarding of this particular episode, it is very much interesting to see how Yosuke Takada make this particular episode very much interesting because again, and the content itself is not really something that is very much crazy. The only interesting thing about this particular episode is pretty much the ghetto, quote unquote ghetto and gojo confrontation. And also the last part of the episode where Inoni, Tabori and also Megumi says that they are going to be saving Gojo Satoru. And yeah, those are pretty much it. There are also some action where Yuji is fighting some cursed spirits here and there. But yeah, overall in this episode, there's really nothing much that is very much crazy going around. But there are some very well noted or memorable, well animated scene here and there, which is again something that is very much nice to see. But something that I would really like to heavily mention is the fact that the color design of this episode and the compositing actually makes me feel like this is a whole another season of Jujutsu Kaisen. I'm not sure if it's just me, but it actually gives me quite a different feeling from the past few episodes. I guess it's just, it's actually just me. But the color design of the environment of Shibuya itself actually makes me feel like damn this is actually Shibuya and I really love how this episode actually looks like I really hope the other episodes color design and also the compositing will actually look like this because I really like this episode's color design as a whole that is pretty much my nitpick for this particular episode it's the fact that it actually looks much different than the other episode but in a good way I really hope they can actually maintain this consistency until the very last episode of Jujutsu Kaisen Season 2. But overall, this is a very much enjoyable episode to watch. The scene where Ghetto's body is literally choking himself really makes me feel like, damn, what the hell? Gojo saying, until when are you going to let this person control your body? Literally shows how Gojo knows, even if Ghetto is dead, his memory, body memory, I think, is still there. But as an anime only watcher right now, I don't think he will come back whatsoever. It's just that it's his reflex memory, uh, whatever thing it is. There's literally no way of explaining how Ghetto will actually come back. I don't think the actual Ghetto will actually come back in the future of this particular franchise. Thank you very much for watching this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe and like. And I will see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.